know how much these two have fought, but they're they're very, very familiar with each other. They're pretty close on skill level too. Yeah, I can imagine that they're. So it'll probably be a pretty good set, though. This just sometimes you rob has a way of just running away with sets, you know. No, absolutely. I mean, oh, if okay, he gets but a lead. This is, okay. Yeah, of course. Picking out the Mario counter pick, I think. Uh, the consensus is among the Robs here is that Mario is actually a very hard matchup for Rob just because the combo potential of this guy. Well, I mean, and that, and that goes into what Rob is as a character. He has a lot of really good tools. He has a lot of advantages just being Rob, right? Uh, yeah. But one of the big advantage or disadvantages of Rob is that he is just <laughs> Rob. He is large, and that happens easily. Yes. Very big guy. Oh, that was so smart getting away from that situation with the uh, cape. It can be a lot of uh, very big problem catching people. Even though he's only at 30, that side B definitely could have, you know, put his life in danger. Yeah, it could have been really hard. But nice. Wow, that is a hard call out right there from Beastly. He goes, I'm far enough away. <laughs> I'm a sweet spot you. It's all good. Oh, yeah, that's a classic Rob setup. It's like, I, I barely avoided the dare. Let me roll on stage. They're ready with the up smash. But Beastly too aware. He's definitely too, um, too uh, accustomed that to these robs. Yo, King K's tech chase there, oh though, God. that was so nice. But Beastly Man sticking with that cape does end up rolling yeah. into that armor. You got to be careful to know that you're not challenging that. Yeah. He's been using the cape very well, though. He's been uh, getting out of a lot of situations. Sour Dare <laughs> into Sweet Dare. <laughs> and that's, that's the big thing about Rob Dare is that, that a high enough percent, it'll just set up for another dare <laughs> yeah. and you can get the timing right. There you have it. Yeah, and they have way less options to mix up their recoveries at that point. If you have the chance, honestly, against Rob, recover without using your jump. But Beastly had to there initially to not get hit by the downer. Still ended up getting hit by the sour spot, though. Oh, and now just King the K. Back to side B. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's so gross. This character is not. People Sometimes don't, you just die. Like people I still said. think this character is not high tier. I can't believe it. They really are blessed to not have too many Robs near them. <laughs> we have so many Robs in this region. Oh, yeah. Beastly, though, didn't have his double jump, and that's actually going to cost him a little bit as he also misses the ledge. But you heard he used <laughs> his cape to mix up that recovery time. Yeah, they have it stalling a little bit. Though, now that he's down this much, like, it's going to hurt getting uh, this stock off this Rob. And like you were saying, Rob can literally run away with a lead. <laughs> he doesn't have to interact with you that much, and Mario's got those stubby limbs. It's hard for him to approach sometimes. But... Beastly's definitely doing a really good job of staying on top of um, King K at this moment. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You got to push that advantage state as hard as you can when you're Mario in this matchup. But sometimes you push it a little bit too hard and King K can kind of smack himself <laughs> out of it. Uh, spot dodge down smash, the classic. And oh, catches to get up from the ledge. I think he was get up attacking. Yeah, no, definitely get up attack. And then King K was right outside the range. And when something like that happens, right, where King K is able to land so many back airs and downers as he did, you can tell that Beastly is in too much of a rhythm and that King K has found that timing of his defense and the way that he wants to get out of that disadvantage. And that's why he got as many big capitalizations as he did. You'll hear that from uh, a lot of players, actually. Lima, especially. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, a lot of those top players that have crazy good punish game. Lima says that he will, in particular, the biggest thing he looks for is his opponent's defensive rhythm. And maybe it'll be a little bit harder to lock that down and it'll be easier for Beastly to mix that up if he's playing Ness. Yeah, Ness a very free flow character. He can really do what he wants. He's gonna, okay, yeah, went for the down air. Yeah, that was good DI out by King K, or by King K. It looked like he was yeah. DIing down and away. Uh, DIing up and away is, of course, the quickest way to get out of the fire, but the way he was set up, he probably figured that a uh, down air was in order eventually. <laughs> yeah. Didn't want to jump into the down air out of getting out of the fire. That would be just unfortunate for him. Oh, Beastly getting smacked by these gyros. Still alive. Yeah, getting through those projectiles. Oh, actually caught him on the shield grab attempt. He saw King K let him get through those projectiles that time. You know, it's harder for Ness, and he got the opportunity. What a tech Good by God. King K, but, but... Untechable, absolutely. He is the one that is gone. He mistimed that downer. That's why I say that Ivysaur downer is better than Rob downer, because you can just kind of toss it out, and you don't have to yeah. worry about that timing as much. Definitely. The Rob downer has the active frames. It's a... Uh... Oh, nice. Really nice dual purpose there with that armor order. Gets that PK fire out of the way. Gets yeah. it on his side by reflecting it, but also gets some really meaty hits on the Ness. I love the oh! idea by Beastly, but he almost <laughs> bit the bullet for that. Yeah. King K absolutely so aware. 
Uh, you miss any text against this guy, he's definitely going to capitalize. Okay, there we go. Nice absorbing that laser that time. Beastly hard off stage, and now King K is almost out of fuel. You can see with all that smoke and with the color of the flame, he's almost out. But that up smash, again, the tech chase is like <laughs> yeah. you said, Emoticon, so nice. Very, they're always so ready for it. Especially King K, he loves taking stocks with that up smash. Like, I feel like he takes... Uh, more stocks with like up smash and down air than any other move together uh, put together. Yeah, no, he's a big time up smasher. All right, Ooh. now that PK Thunder though gonna buy Beastly a little bit of extra percent. Now the back throw should kill from just about anywhere, but he's looking <laughs> for that up air on a tall character like Rob. It will usually work, but that's a nice reaction to the whiff. Yeah, and um, the back air just like drop back air out of shield. Rob's tall enough to get hit by it, and if you are. It's a no. tough life! Yeah. What a catch. Beastly uh, got a little bit too concerned about having that timing being caught on or being near the ledge. Yeah. And King K didn't even need to react to anything. He just waited and then he was like, okay, uh, you're up B. Like, uh, here. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be here now. Like, that's uh, the nature of Ness's recovery when he's in the. doing the, you know, PK rocket. Not mm -hmm. the word. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of free at that point. Hey. Uh, situation, uh, the thing that you would see Austin do there is he would do that double jump and he would float away from the ledge to mm -hmm. avoid that down there and then he would air dodge to the ledge.